Welcome to Rebel DeFi, where I share videos that are categorically not financial advice about decentralized finance and NFTs in the Cosmos ecosystem. In this series of videos, I'm going to be starting a challenge called Cosmos 365. So over the course of the next year, I'm going to be investing $1,000 each month into the Cosmos ecosystem and comparing my performance against just dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Let's get straight into it. I am on the Pulsar website and you can see here I've got 1000 Axelar USDC and 7.67 Osmo and these are sitting in an Osmosis wallet. So the first thing I want to do because it is a Cosmos 365 challenge, I want to get hold of some Atom. So on TFM just now, this is using Osmosis liquidity. Find Atom token, there we go. So I'm gonna invest $200 into Atom. Now I'm not gonna invest all my money today, I'm gonna to do it over the course of the next few weeks. Okay, so the way Atom's going just now, that's turning into 27 and a half Atom. And then once I've swapped a couple hundred dollars into Atom, I'm going to then decide what, well, I've already decided what I'm going to do with my Atom. So just sign that transaction. And while that's going through, what I'm going to do with it, instead of just staking, which I could do, staking APR at the moment is 18 and a half percent. I'm going to go into Levana, and here I could go long or short on Atom. It might be quite good fun to do a bit of gambling. Maybe it's going to bounce back up again. Maybe not. So instead of just taking a punt, I'm going to go into this earn section. And here I can single LP my Atom for 37% or lock it up for 45 days for 52%. I'm not going to lock it, so I think 37% is quite nice. Right, that trade has gone through, so I've now got 27. In fact, let's go back to Pulsar. I need to refresh this. Okay, and that shows me as well as what it's showing on TFM that I've now got 27 and a half Atom into Levana. Just hit refresh here. And I quite like the idea of not having to lock up my Atom at all. So if I deposit, got a little warning message, okay to that. Drop the whole lot in. And this is Levana on Osmosis. I've already got Osmosis in my wallet for gas, so this is fine. Accept terms and conditions, which I've read thoroughly before I made this video. Click transaction in the wallet, and this should then stake the Atom that I swapped on TFM into Levana Protocol. Now, this is not a risk-free 37.5%. Um, if the traders on Levana do really, really well, then that is going to negatively impact my APR. The more people that get wrecked on this side of Levana, on the trade side, the higher the APR is going to become here. Right, so hopefully that has been staked. Let's have a look on Pulsar again. Okay, it's not showing at the moment, but I think it should hopefully show up shortly. I'll have to come back to that in a bit. Okay, so that's $200 that I've used so far. I'm gonna go for another $100. And a project that I'm personally bullish on is Astroport. So I want to get some Astro tokens. Now there's no Astro on Osmosis, so I can go into this IBC swap section. And I want to go from Axelar USDC into Astro. Now I could do this on Neutron or Terra. So let's just check the different rates. So this will send my Axelar USDC from Osmosis in one click into Astro on Neutron, which would be pretty cool. Let's just see if this Levana has updated here. Having a little think. I 
don't know why it's saying still in the wallet. I think it went through. Um, so I have a stats page in my history. Yeah, so it's saying it's deposited into Lavana. So hopefully that Pulsar page will update. Back on TFM, it's showing me that for 100 Axelar USDC on osmosis, I'll get 4,372 on Neutron. Um, let's compare that to Terra. So that's 4,372. Now there's more Astro liquidity on Terra, so maybe I'll get a better rate. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so we'll come back with the RFQ, the quote, and it was to be 4,372. Let's just check my Pulsar page. So other stuff I want to do on this challenge is I'm interested in buying some NFTs, maybe flip some NFTs. There's quite a few projects that I'm interested in. Um, so just holding some NFTs would be pretty cool as well. Um, okay, that quote is coming back. So maybe there's some sort of issue just not displaying my, I, I think Pulsar can display the Vana balances so hopefully it'll come back um, 4.3 so that's actually exactly the same if I swap into Astro and Terra but actually you can see here that it's going to go through Neutron so that's just an extra step don't need that extra step so I'm going to go from Axelar USDC on Osmosis and we'll keep it on Neutron. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll get another quote, and I think it was essentially the same. So it was making a swap. I think it makes a swap on Osmosis, sends something over to Neutron, probably Neutron tokens, and then makes another swap on Neutron, and that's all in one click. So that's rather nice. Um, okay, and it's gone up a fraction. So you can see here, if, if I choose the save mode, I'm going to be sending tokens across using Axelar into Terra onto Neutron and I can get fractionally more um, Astro but I'm going to go for the convenience of the one click and let's just check this route. Okay so we're swapping the Axelar USDC on Osmosis into Neutron, sending Neutron across from Osmosis to Neutron and then making another swap on Neutron into Astro. So that's pretty dope. Now it's giving me this message saying I don't have any Neutron to pay gas fees. That's not a problem because this is a one-click transaction. The gas is paid here on Osmosis. So don't need to worry about any other transactions on other chains. Gas is taken care of. So I guess this is something we need to sort out on the TFM front end there. So just sign that transaction and this, I mean, it could take up to three minutes or so. Hopefully it's going to be quicker than that. I mean, that's really just because these are sort of IBC transactions. I mean, the, the first swap on Osmosis should be super quick. And OK, so it's saying it's gone already. Cool. Let's just check Pulsar. I'm not sure if Pulsar. Oh, wow. OK, Pulsar does have um, neutron balances as well and yet you can see it just updated there so I've got the staking yeah the 27 and a half atom staking in Levana I've got the osmosis that I'm using for gas and that's hardly been touched at all I've got the hundred dollars that I swapped into Astro and that is on you can see here it's on neutron and I've still got seven hundred dollars left on osmosis so there's loads of other stuff I'm going to do over the next days and weeks. Um, trading, investing, LPing, buying some NFTs. We'll see. So yeah, if you're interested in DeFi and NFTs on the Cosmos ecosystem, why not follow along with this Cosmos 365 challenge? If you've got any questions, comments or criticisms, please leave them in the comments down below. Let me know your favorite NFT collections, your favorite DeFi in Cosmos. See ya.